Hi everyone, today I am sewing my fennel and I thought I'd show you how I do it. So I already sewed fennel in the spring and that's cropping now, I'll show you those plants in a bit. But the best time really to grow fennel is to sow them now for autumn cropping. You get bigger bulbs and the risk of bolting is reduced and this is because now is the time the fennel flowers. So it's hard to get them to swell into a bulb that you can harvest, that you want to eat. Uh, instead they kind of rise up and produce a flower stem, just like our native fennel in the UK here. So how I do it is that I multi-sow them. So you want to plant out a module of two plants and this, these are the modules I'm going to use. They're quite small but they'll be perfect for this. And I sow three seeds to make sure I get the two that I want. If I get three, I'll thin one out before planting. Um, I did multi-sow them for spring, but because they're quite thirsty plants and we have such a, a warm May, I don't think I will do that again next year because at least one of the two bolted or is bolting now. Um, so I think... <laughs> I don't have water on the plot, so I can't water as much as maybe they wanted. And uh, you know, nothing beats rainwater really. So yes, for spring sowing, I think I'll just do a single plant next year. Um, but for the autumn one, it's still fine to do, go for the multi-sowing. All right, so I'm just gonna start filling my modules and uh, you can watch me do it. So when I say now is a great time to sow, maybe I should explain it's, it's uh, mid-June and so I tried to do it after the solstice, which was on the uh, 21st, I think. Uh, yeah, so the types I'm sowing is I've got an old packet of uh, fennel of Florence, <laughs> imaginative name. They uh, germinated fine in spring, so let's hope it does again. And then I have three other ones that I bought for this season. One is the Colossal Fennel and the Mantovano Florence Fennel. So though they're both from real seeds. And then I have the Perfection, which is from the Seed Cooperative. So I'll give them all a go. Uh, I can't say I could taste any different, but maybe now that they have time to grow bigger, maybe there's a more of an obvious difference between them. Um, I'd say the one that did the worst maybe was this one. However, I sewed it at a different date, so we can't really compare. Of the Mantovano and Corsal, I couldn't really tell the difference. All right, so let's get into it. So three seeds per module. Then I just firm it down and then I spread just a thin layer on top. Rule of thumb with seed depth is just the height of the seed, so very, very thinly. And then make sure it's in contact with the compost. And that's it. And now I just need to water this. So how I do it is always from below because I find maybe I don't have the right watering can or whatever it is, but if I use even if I use a rose, it just floods the whole thing. 
Um, so for me, either I water it before I sow the seeds or I just put it in a tray of water, the whole thing, and then it soaks it up. You can see, see on the top when the water's gone through. And then uh, I am going to germinate these uh, just outside now. In spring, I would put the seed tray inside the house because it's a constant warmth and that's what seeds need. They need warmth to germinate, much more so than they need to, to grow. So you can get an early start, germinate your seeds in the house, and as soon as they pop up, you move them out into the greenhouse or your cold frame or even outside if that's, if that's a, a possibility for you. But yes, yeah, so now it's warm enough, I think it'll be okay. All right, so let's go have a look at the actual plants that I have growing right now. So here is my row of fennel. It's a double row. Uh, planting distance was 30 centimeters. I've harvested a few here. So in the first lot, I think there was six um, perfection. Yeah, and they were sown on the 16th of February. So when I was sowing now, I actually got a flashback to standing in the greenhouse sowing these. <laughs> it's quite cool. Um, but yeah, so this one is ready to harvest. So I would say that they're very thin. They're quite wide, but they're not as thick as I would want them. And this is because it's spring and the spring has been very, very dry. Whilst this one is rising up to flowers, producing a flower stalk. Um, and this is what is the case in most of them. So one of them is producing a harvestable thing and the rest, and the other one is just a go rising up, you know. Uh, it just loses a bit of the quality in the eating, you know. You can still eat it, right, but it doesn't have that the same, it goes a bit um, woody, you know. Um, but yeah, and then there's the other ones and I don't know if I've lost the labels. Um, yeah, looks like it. <laughs> so I actually don't know now which one's which. Uh, that's great. I probably have made a note somewhere. But they're looking pretty good. I might get two out of these here, and there's one here. Oh, this one is flowering, and this one is probably starting to. But, you know, I could harvest them. So it's not a disaster if they do rise to flower. It will just produce a flower head, and you can collect the seeds, you know? Uh, so I planted them here behind the peas so that the afternoon sun is a bit shaded because I thought they don't like it to be too hot, you know. Uh, it, yeah, it worked so-so, I guess. But yeah, I hope you give fennel a go. I love the smell and I love the taste. And uh, yeah, it's a great looking vegetable. It's such a hot day for filming, so I hope you apologize to uh, my allotment hat. Um, but yeah, that's it. Let me know if you have any questions about that or if there's any other veg you want me to concentrate on. And uh, yeah, happy growing!